Hi, welcome back to my channel, I'm not wearing any makeup. My name is Brie, I talk about all things vegan and cruelty for beauty. Well, this is Wilson, my black kitty cat. I've heard him right now, but he wanted to be here for the spoilers, right? I do get BoxyCharm and I get Ipsy in PR. And then when it's an Icon Box Month, I do get that in PR as well. As well as I pay for my BoxyCharm by, okay, you leave me? <laughs> I pay for my own BoxyCharm by Ipsy subscription and you get to make selections. Okay, just wanna chill out in front of the like. <laughs> Let's get into the glam bag spoilers first, okay? So I'm using Boxy Ipsy updates on Instagram. They have not posted any spoilers for July. They'll probably do that like the first, what do you think? The last week of July? For the last week of June, you think they're gonna do that? So for, for glam bag spoiler number one that we see, we see the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Blonzer in Kiss of Mob. I think these are new. Like they have them in the compact, but not in like a squeezy tube. Only thing is I'm hoping these aren't like super, super pigmented because like if you can't, with a squeezy tube, you can't really control how much you squeeze out. Like whereas in a compact, you have more control with like using like a brush, <laughs> like a sponge or your fingers. Yeah, whoa. Um, I don't get to choose what I get in PR. So I only get to make selections in the box that I actually pay for. You showing your tummy? He had a little bit of white, but he mostly black. Whoa. <laughs> We see the Keys Soul Care, which is Alicia Keys brand. Protect your, what do you do? Well, daily moisturizer, broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen. I feel like I've gotten this like so many times. Oopsies, but it's just a mini probably. And then we see the Seraphine Botanical, Periwinkle and Pop Soft Sculpting Blush, which we did see as a spoiler in our Box of Charm and our um, Ipsy Glam bag. On the sheet, it shows some spoilers. We also see something from Briogeo Willy. It's a style and treat. It's like a heat protectant, I believe. But or it's the okay, soft power air dry cream. And then we see the Dallas and James, which we got something from them last month. I think it was a, a water or oil or water cream to, <laughs> water to cream moisturizer. This is the eye cream because Willy, we always have to get an eye cream in our boxes. I know. I also see the Franken Body, which we got something from them last month as well. AKA this month, cause it's June. Glycolic Body Scrub. There was another scrub that we got. Two of the Seraphine Botanicals blushes. We have Coral Mist and then also, I'm assuming you're able to choose different colors. There's another cut shade. Oh, we have the Tarte Fake Awake, which I have not tried. I've always heard it's really good. It's been around for a long time. It's just a nude eyeliner, so I don't know if it comes in multiple shades or what the dealio is with that. Anyway, first thing you need bronze and glow drops. I have the e.l.f. ones, and even then, I'm like, it's fine. It makes me look kind of red, honestly, but I, I don't know. These, are, these just aren't my favorite. Like, it's not something that I'm like, oh my god, I like need and, you know, my whole life has changed since getting them. We also have the First Aid Beauty, which I don't know why they're not cruelty free anymore. I keep getting comments on my videos. They're not, okay? They have, are now selling in China. Different sites say different things, but I go by Logical Harmony, which even though she hasn't posted in a long time, as I I also go by Leaping Bunny. Um, just because it's PETA, okay, you just have to pay to be PETA certified or, PETA, or get the label. Leaping Bunny, it goes for way more than thing. It's free unless you want to use their label, but it, there's way more research that goes into it than just giving them some money. Besides, oh, besides Ipsy's bronze drops, we also have the First Aid Beauty facial radiance pads, which I don't like single waist kind of stuff. Kakant, Ka Tano Beauty Lip Glaze and Blush. It looks like a lip gloss or lip oil that's clear, okay. Kind of reminds me of South Seattle London one that I got a few months ago that I actually do like, but I don't know if it actually is super hydrating. Sometimes like you have those products that like just go over your lips and they feel like they're hydrating. And then when it wears off, it's like, no, what's not hydrating. DB MIA by Maciel MI Artist Blending Sponge. It has like lips. Um, it looks cute, but it's a sponge. I'm not gonna complain about a sponge. And then we have from Neogen Dermatology or Dermology, Double Vita Drop and Serum for all skin types. Now we're gonna get into the box from my Ipsy spoilers. Hello, Willie. I know you always want to pet. This is my only little boy. We have the Tula Radiant Skin Skin Tint. It's like the Brightening Serum Brightening Serum Skin Tint. I checked and it is not 
listed as vegan. I don't know what's in it, but it, it's not listed as vegan. Yeah, in my PR boxes, I don't get to choose shades, so I never get like complexion products like this. We get like powders, bronzers, blushes, highlighters, primers. And then I also see the Danessa Myricks setting powder, which I have only tried one of her duet blushes or something like that illuminator, which came in an icon box a few months ago. So I would love to try a setting powder from her. And then Fenty, I'm still not happy with Fenty because it's already they sold out to China and now they're not cruelty free, but it is whatever fragrance. And then I see an LYS lipstick, which I really like LYS. Everything I've tried from LYS I have liked. And then the Beauty Boost Spoiler, which if you spend $15 more, which I do, the last couple months I have. Um, this is from Grown Alchemist. I'll put it on the screen what I think it is. I just, I know the bottle and I can see the blurred label. This is the Banana Bright Eye Cream from Ole Hendrickson. And then, oh, the perfume is a travel spray? Well, travel spray, but not like a mini, like not like a travel size, but it's like, you know, whatever, the little sprayer. And then also from Ness Free, which I don't believe they're cruelty free. This is their daily UV defense sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 36, which kind of a, I don't know, weird amount of SPF. And then you have to have a couple. Um, we have a Cinta London and then we have a Ciate London. We gotta have the Londons. We have the Ciate London Watermelon Boost 2 in 1 Everyday Balm and Mask. And the Cinta London Cheeky Flush Cream Blush. And then we have Dr. Brandt Skincare. Hydrating Serum to Highlighter, which is $65. Crazy. And then I also, so I see the bronzer, which maybe there's gonna be, it's gonna be in both, I don't know. Um, and it's in Kiss and Mob. And then I also see the, I see the Il Maquillage Mascara. Seems to have an interesting wand. It's like little tiny bristles, but I don't know if that's a vegan or not. It's their black card mascara. They are a bougie brand. So we also have the, I think it's the Laura Geller palette. It's kind of cool actually. It looks kind of grungy and we have our warm browns, but like I like this. I think it's easy for like, it's like a work kind of palette. I, I'm actually like excited for this. If it's vegan, let us check, okay? Cause I didn't even know that Laura Geller made eyeshadows. Honestly, I haven't really heard about them in years. It's like, I know they're still around, but like, I don't even know if I've tried anything from Laura Geller. Okay, so another post I saw, it is the Laura Geller Wild Flower Wishes palette. And yeah, it's definitely, this is a way better picture. This is, it is very pretty. I'm definitely going to use this for work if it's vegan. I don't see it on their actual website. So I don't know if it's like a BoxyCharm exclusive, which I don't really like because like, if I'm going to recommend it to you guys, I thought I have a huge following. But if I was to recommend it to anybody, I can't because it's, okay, it's on eBay. Okay, so I can't really see if it's vegan on eBay. They, it looks like they had multiple palettes of different shades. So, and now it's on Laura Geller, it's only $10. So, which I'm assuming it went, so it was $25. Now it's $9.99. Crease proof, easy application, shimmer matte formulas, good for hooded lids, eye definition, daily use, highly pigmented. Okay, great. Anyway, are you vegan? That's all fantastic and dandy and stuff, but like, don't care if it's, if, cause I mean, they all kind of say that. Okay, ingredients. I don't see carmine, so there is talc in it, which uh, doesn't bother me, but if it does bother you, it does have mica and talc, but there is no carmine. So it is a vegan palette, so that is good for me. Those have velvety mattes and shimmering suede finishes. So those are all of the products that I see in spoilers currently. So when I do see spoilers on the Ipsy website, which I don't see currently right now, possibly we'll see like end of the month. So the next week or so, then I will maybe do an additional video. Maybe I'll do like spoilers number one, spoilers number two. Let me know that's something you'd be interested in. If not, I'll just do it anyway. But um, yeah, let me know, are we interested in any of these? I don't really know just yet. It's like some stuff I'm like, okay. And then other stuff I'm like, could have done without. So we shall see what I get in my PR unboxing. Of course, when I get my PR unboxing, which is usually at the end of the month or like the first of the month, stay tuned for that. So click subscribe so you miss out on that. I also do my paid for unboxing. So again, if you don't wanna miss that, click subscribe so you don't miss that. As always, stay safe, healthy, and do always do something that makes you happy.